Can you get Uncle Sam out of your retirement plan? You can if you do it right. Now, it's pretty tricky, uh, but there are some sources of income that you can have in retirement that are federally tax-free. I'm going to go over four big ones today. A couple of them are kind of obvious. A couple of them you might not have thought of before. Uh, let's get into it. So, hi, folks. I'm Antonio Sabella with Vision Wealth Management. I'm a financial advisor. I help individuals plan for retirement. Uh, a lot of that work revolves around taxes. How can you minimize taxes? You see, everybody's got whatever they've put away. The more more of it you can keep, the better your retirement's going to be. The less of it you have to send off to your silent partner, the better off you're going to be in the long run. So let's talk today about sources of income that you can have in retirement where you're not going to pay federal income tax. First off, Roth IRAs. I know, I know, Roth IRAs. Antonio was talking about Roth IRAs again. I, I can't help it. Roth IRAs are a fantastic source of retirement money. Obviously, they're tax-free. Put the money away now. When you put it away, pay the taxes on it. Let it grow tax-deferred. Let it be tax-free in the future. So the big one, number one, have Roth money in retirement. You don't have to worry about cutting in your silent partner on that money. The second one is municipal bond interest. Now, you probably hear advertisements about municipal bonds. Maybe you had an uncle that talked about it once. Municipal bonds are federally tax-free. Uh, in most states, in my state of Ohio, where I'm recording this right now, if you actually buy an Ohio municipal bond, it's also state tax-free. Now, here's a caveat. We're talking about individual bonds and the interest that they earn. Uh, if it's interest that's earned from a bond fund that is also municipal, still gonna be federally tax-free, but if there's gains in the fund and you realize some of those gains because they're pushed out to you because the manager sold some things, you're gonna have to pay tax on the gain. You're not gonna have to pay tax on the interest that is earned. So the interest is federally tax-free of municipal bonds. Now, if you build your own bond portfolio or you work with an advisor who builds a bond portfolio for you and you're just picking up the interest from those bonds and they're municipal bonds, it's gonna be tax-free interest. Side note, if you feel like impressing your friends and they're really nerdy, and so you say like, hey, I bet you didn't know why municipal bonds are tax-free. Uh, the answer is it goes back to Congress in 1913. They passed something that said that any debt state or lower is not subject to federal income tax. So municipal bonds, state, local municipality, counties, uh, a lot of hospital systems if they're nonprofits, qualify under municipal bonds, all sorts of things like that. None of it subject to federal tax due to a law that was passed in 1913 in Congress. Quick pause, if you're enjoying the video, if you like it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Come on back, lots of videos about retirement planning, how to minimize your taxes in retirement, trying to make sure that you don't run out of money in retirement, how you should structure your portfolio, all of that stuff. I got lots of videos about it. We're putting up videos regularly, one, two times a week. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Come on back and I'll see you another time. So on to source number three, source number three, HSA accounts. Now, here's a caveat. They're not subject to tax, but you have to use them for a specific purpose. So you got to use them for a qualified medical expense. An HSA account, health savings account, the greatest of all tax benefits because it is triple tax free if you do it right. So the money that goes in, you get a deduction when you put it in. It grows tax deferred. You can use it tax free on the back end, again, as long as it's used for qualified purposes. You can use it to some degree to pay for uh, certain types of, of medical premiums. You can pay for expenses. You can pay for out of pocket uh, medical expenses like deductibles that you would have. And if you do that, not only is what went in tax free, all of the gains are also tax free along the way. It comes out no taxes are due. So that's another source. While it's not specifically income, you can use it to offset expenses that you're likely to have in retirement. We know that in retirement, healthcare is the largest single expense that you're likely to have. Uh, and you can use an HSA to defray some of that without incurring a tax bill. Last one, number four, cash value life insurance. Now this one's a little bit tricky. I've got a couple of videos about it. Uh, you have to sort of structure things in a certain way to make this tax free. It's not as clean as like a Roth IRA where you just say if you've had it in there for a certain period of time and it's grown and you're now of retirement age, you can access the money, you don't have to pay taxes. It's not that, but if you structure a cash value life insurance policy properly, you can access the cash value while you're alive and you don't have to pay federal income tax on that money. And the reason is this, one, you can draw out money that you put in, that's a return of premium. Uh, because that's a return of premium, it's not income, you're drawing back out money that you put into it and so you don't have to pay taxes on it. Now the second thing, Hopefully you got some gains in the cash value life insurance policy. That's part of the point of putting it into a cash value vehicle is that hopefully it's earned over time. If it has, you've got gains. Those gains, subject to tax if you just draw them out. If you borrow against them, they're not subject to tax because it's a loan. A loan is not income. A loan is borrowing. Now, 
big flashing red light here. I'll put something up to let you know. Uh, you got to be careful when you structure these things because even though you're borrowing against yourself, you're borrowing against your own policy, you still have to pay interest to the policy. And if the interest starts to out earn the interest that you're gaining in the policy, it can start to roll downhill and your policy could end up blowing up. If it blows up, you got tax bills. So you need to be careful with how you structure this. This is not something that's for the faint of heart, but there are a lot of folks that do it. And if you do it and you build the contract the right way, you can access that money without having to worry about paying federal income tax on it. So there you have it, four places you can draw income from in retirement without having to worry about paying federal income tax. Roth IRAs, municipal bond interest, HSA accounts, I almost blanked on that third one. I had to think about it for a second. Uh, and then the last one, cash value life insurance, if you structure it the right way. So those are places you can draw income from in retirement without having to worry about paying taxes. If you're interested in that, check out this video. I think it's up here. It might be up here. Either way, it just popped up. Check it out about other ways that you can draw tax-free retirement income. Thank you for being here. I hope you learned something. I'll see you soon.